Hey everybody, Daytra the Rockstar here with a market radar going into September 21st, will it be? Yeah, I believe it's 21st, 22nd, and I believe it's going to be a Jewish holiday, so happy holidays. Rosh Hashanah, um, I believe. Uh, so the market will probably be um, a little quieter tomorrow. But I, I see it a, uh, as a good opportunity to trade. Today was a fantastic setups, even in the midst of the uh, FOMC decision and the Janet Yellen press conference afterwards. The market gave us some great opportunities, perfect setups, everything we teach every single day. We see it live happening, and it's, it's just that easy. So um, just want to touch base on the bigger time frame charts. We're all the way up here at 52-week highs. Not going to, uh, you know try to tell you every the exact detail when we're going to pull back if we pull back and when we're going to pull back that's definitely not uh, a winning a winning proposition uh, but we do have the potential because uh, we actually see that well, we're going to we're going to state the obvious here the sto stochastics are embedded that's a sign of strength there is a that's a daily now we're going to pay attention as more of a active trader we're going to pay attention to the 60 minute time frame a little bit more and we actually might if you know, see how it uh, opens up tomorrow. I mean, if we opened up higher, this would fail probably before we'd have a 60-minute divergence to the downside. The uh, That's if that gapped up. I would take that trade. I would actually short into that The um, you know for, uh, for a trade right there. And it, just, it seems like the market closed a little bit uh, stronger at the, at the end of the day here. You know, we move right back up. This was a five-minute divergence also. I mean, that was just unbelievable. We talked about just pinpointing the best positions in the market. You have a divergence back here in the channel and a perfect divergence down here. And look at that return through the scene of the crime, back up even further. So a little pop tomorrow puts us in a great situation to get a reversal on a 60-minute time frame. You already can feel this is starting to kind of weaken up. That's what I would like to see. See them push this thing, artificially pop it, and then short into the uh, into that early morning pop. Hopefully, get a nice divergence and let it run a bit. See if you catch something uh, a, a great trade. Now the daily is impossible to really. Well, I'm not saying we're going to head higher, but that's something I would trade off of. I would trade off of a 60-minute pop. Now currently, I'm actually in a trade right now because um, I'm here at the office doing some work, and I, when I got into the trade a little bit higher here, well, right around here. Uh, we're pretty close to the overnight highs, so I didn't expect us to get through there early this morning. Um, well, until tomorrow morning, you know, if we do get a pullback, I would like to see us pull back to that 2505, even possibly, definitely 2502. So I, I threw a trade in here with a stop above the uh, 2506 and a quarter area. So I have to stop at 250 and uh, my profit uh, zones are below us at uh, two co contracts at 2502 and 2575. Pretty fl flat on it right now. It's been chopping around. At one point we were up about $100 on it, and it bounced back up, and it's chopping around. I mean, I'm I'm not a uh, you know, this is more of a casino overnight uh, type of trade. It has nothing to do with divergences at all, um, unless we did, did see one set up. But just to let you know, that is active right now. The next thing here, um, again, we're going to take a look at the five-minute time frame. Once again, I've started to focus more on the S&P 5, you know, the actually the S&P futures and the NASDAQ futures. Definitely enjoying the NASDAQ futures. NASDAQ gave a great signal today. Um, it is less st stressful. I I'm beginning to uh, like it a lot more, even though we had a, um, this is after hours right here. This we go back here. Look at this beautiful thing about this. We had a, a breakdown here, then a move back up. Um, and then we started putting a one, two, three channel line. So then we actually put a parallel trend line down here. And this was a perfect, perfect divergence here at 230. It was the perfect textbook divergence. And we had a little, what we call slanted inverted head and shoulders pattern and a pop further, further up. And it was actually on the ES, there was a 
we zoom out here, I want to go back on this and show you this on the ES. This was really just some really nice stuff to see. We talk about the market leaving a trail behind it. You know, it's the tracks that you could follow that you're hunting up the setup. Here is a big one. All right, first of all, let's go back to the beginning of the day because it was pretty pretty much a textbook type of day. At the uh, let's go all the way back here. There was the FOMC meeting. Uh, so here we have the the pop and drop, and then the pop back down. Um, a lot of chop. I think we had another trade. There was a lot of tradeometers that uh, opened up a new chart, so I don't have the original chart on here talking about the tradeometer setups. But there were there were a lot of nice good setups on that. Um, so I have a different chart up. I should have got the one with my in it. I have some that were pointing out some great setups. One was the um, triple stochastic flag setup, which uh, we try to hold on to that 20 period moving average here. In this case, you're holding right around it. You have that rotation down, and you're holding that slow stochastic here above um, 80. And that's our key, that's our second best go-to trade setup. So, I mean, it's just, it's all it's all mapped out to, for you. We had um, F1C me meeting come out. This was a big five-minute divergence. If we move this over to the five-minute time frame, you'll see it. Um, I'll do it for you fast. And that's what we concentrated on. Actually, I was at lunch on that when that happened. But when I came back, I noticed it, a uh, beautiful five-minute divergence. And from that point on, it was off to the races. Now, you could see it here. This this low right here, I'm not going to make circles or anything. This low, that low right there, about three, uh, 120, represents this price dip way up here at 2503 and a half. Then the market drops off aggressively, and yet we we pull back slightly, but stay above that 20 before starting to turn back up. And right when you start to see that turning back up, you're like, whoa, we could not even break the 20 line on a very steep pullback. That's telling you there's an underlying strength um, that's coming in here. This is a perfect indicator of the trend about to you know change and things to moving back up, and that's exactly what happened off of that five-minute time frame. So that was a uh, you know picture perfect, perfect uh, signal there. And then um, we go a little bit closer in here on the one-minute time frame, and inside that five-minute, then after that five-minute, you actually ran into a uh, a nice little one-minute divergence. It might have been a three-minute. That's to say, this I think was a three-minute divergence, and a nice pullback. But the thing I was really paying attention to today was the uh, triple stochastic flag setup. And here was another one. This was a nice little flag. We held on to this, and when you see this strength in the slow stochastic band and the rotation here, and the trend is intact, and the price is holding above the 20. And now my tr criteria is very strict. You know, I have a very strict criteria. Uh, so when that is being held, I know that there's a 80, 90 percent probability of a breakout of the, you know, continued trend out of the flag, and it's just a perfect setup. So I just wait for these. So that's um, and again, when you have two and possibly even three setups, we'll talk about the third one in another video. But that's the number to one and two, and then the overnight trade. Well, not much going on. You can get into trouble, you know, trying to figure out what's going on overnight. You have to wait until about 3 o'clock comes along, and then um, volume starts to come in. But you will see these setups, and uh, that's where we stand off here. So that's what we're going to be looking for short term. Market can continue to go higher. It could turn over. Uh, we'll be ready for anything at this point. The... Um, you know, we need a little bit more volatility. Pulling back wouldn't be a bad thing at all. I'm not going to talk stocks on this video other than, um, yeah, we doubled and tripled down on Kellogg today. Uh, I, I do like that uh, that trade setup. So I'll see everyone in the markets. And don't forget, you know, if you like what you're hearing, you like it, just come by Day Trading Radio. Sign up to become a member so you get all the uh, benefits of being a member of Day Trading Radio. If you want to learn more about the high probability methodology, go to School of Stock. School of Stock, where I have a couple uh, in-depth, detailed courses on the uh, divergence setup and the overall 
foundation course. So I'll see you guys in the market.